Hi Leo, welcome to my channel Leo. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Leo sign. Thank you so much Leo for supporting the channel. Thank you so much Leo for being here. If you would like to further connect with me Leo, please click the bell. Please click subscribe. Let us see what is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know this is for the Leo sign. Thank you so much Leo for supporting the channel. Let's see what's coming towards you, okay? I want you to think of your situation, think about your focus. Let us see what is the guided message for the Leo sign. We will pick up love, career, money, and general inspiration ship, okay? What is the guided message for the Leo sign? What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? You have the Ace of Cups. You have the Knight of Wands. Let's look into your energy checked in. Seven of Swords and then the second part of the reading. Let's see what's coming towards you, okay? The Heart of Fun card. Wow, this is a very serious offer. I would say a very serious person. You've got the Page of Cups, the Hierophant card, the Page of Cups. You have the Queen of Cups. The Hidden Energy is the Judgment card, okay? You've got the Eight of Cups in here. And the Devil card. Okay, guys, let's start the reading. Well, first of all, you have an Ace of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Something tells me that I'm hearing the word Leo, that there is like a passive aggressive offer. It's like a secret offer that it would be mentioned to you, but it would ring a bell. Okay. So the next three, seven, ten days, probably October to November, the universe would like you to pay attention to this incoming Ace of Cups. This could be like a new client, a new person, a new lover, something new. Or it could be like it's a feeling of someone would drop, would say something about this person, invitation or information, and you will feel intuitively connected and interested okay it you know it feels like it rings a bell it feels like i need to be there or i want that or someone is interesting like you feel like if i go there i will meet someone interesting or if i go there i would be able to explore or something to do with something special in that information place or offer and the universe is telling you look this is a secret offer. It rings a bell. It is something that it could also be someone is hinting you. Like someone is giving you a hint. Hey, you know that job position within two days is going to be vacant. So it's going to, it's it's giving you a hint that you have to apply now before, before it's not too late, but it's more of like, if you want to be, if you want to be in the, in the, upper hand like if you want to accelerate apply now so listen to hint okay someone is going to drop an information someone will give you a direct a direct hint seven of swords about an event a product it could also be like excuse me let me just move it could also be like an invitation like hey you know what that invitation the ceo would be there this gm will be there or this person will be there volunteer raise your hand and say i want to attend i want to lead i want to be there i will be attending i will be rsvp okay the universe would like you to listen to a secret offer a hint someone is going to give you a hint and that is your cue to jump like a knight of wands to this ace of cups. You could meet a business partnership. You could be meeting a lover. Or you could be discovering an idea, a product, something that will give you some sort of abundance or happiness. There's financial 
involvement, there's position, there's power. Each one of you would be different, but someone is going to hint you. Someone is dropping hint that, hey, this is cool. You need to be there. Grab the opportunity, volunteer, talk directly to the person who's organizing it, or talk directly to the person who is looking for, um, who is managing the recruitment, okay? But you will get a hint. It will ring a bell. Like intuitively, it feels very exciting and you feel like there's something special. I need to be there. I need to have that. I need to RSVP, okay? Yeah, five of pentacles, if you snooze, you lose, okay? The universe is giving you exactly a direct hint. Look at that. There is a soulmate. There is a soulmate waiting for you. It could be an actual soulmate or it could be a soulmate offer where it's a perfect match. It's exactly what you're looking for in terms of finances, in terms of money, in, ter in terms of idea. So go there. There is a perfect soulmate match, Leo. All right? Okay. All right. You would feel it like something special. You know, when it's meant to be, it will not make you sleep. When I was doing this tarot reading, I, like when I was building my video, I couldn't sleep. It just, it wouldn't get out of my system. So I need to do it. Like if I don't do it, it won't make me sleep. Okay. It's like that. You're super duper excited that if you don't volunteer, it looks like it won't make you sleep because you're super duper excited to get a yes to RSVP or to submit your CV. So go Leo. Okay. Five of Pentacles, the lover's card. All right. I don't know why the dog is barking. So if you can hear that, apologies. Now, the second part of the reading. There is a very serious offer or a serious invitation. There's a Hierophant card, the Page of Cups, and the Queen of Cups in here. Let's look at the Hierophant card. Ooh, Four of Wands. There is a situation. There's an incoming situation incoming conversation and it's going to lead to a super duper serious offer i don't know why you're scared leo the queen of cups it looks like you don't want to say yes it looks like you're playing a little bit cupid it could be you're shy with this person it could be you're intimidated with the person or you could still be hurt by this person but they're very serious about their offer oh it's a two of cups look at that once upon a time, you and this person, you're very close. This is a serious offer. This is a serious move. Um, this is also a feeling of it's been a long time, the judgment card, or it's been a while, okay? It's a vibe where it's been a while. I'm seriously inviting you out. I'm serious about this move. And I'm also excited with the Four of Wands. There's a Two of Cups in here. I want to reconnect. I want to know your whereabouts. I want to know if you're interested. And I'm not giving up. If I was, if I did give up in the past, well, I don't want to give up now with the Eight of Cups. So there is, there's a lot of reason why this person is offering this Hierophant card energy or a Page of Pentacles energy. It's an invitation. It's an invitation that will take you through a lot of serious offer with the judgment card the eight of cups in here i think they've given up in the past but now they're back with lots of explanation there's full details and they're willing to disclose it to you and they want a face-to-face -face. you know look at that the two of cups it's it, it it even feels like you know face to face you know, it even feels like, Leo, that they don't want to disclose it to you if you won't see them. So this could be a serious business offer partnership or maybe it's connected to there where we will tell you the secret if you face it, f face us. Like, um, like they're kind of inviting you to, like it's more of you will know if you face me, if you will see me face to face in here with the um, four of cups. Look at that. I think they've been planning this this year. It's been part of their plan. It's part of their plan this year to offer you this serious conversation. Something that before they could put it in public, they would like you to have this. They would like to have this conversation with you first before 
they move on. Like before I offer it to another person or I seek for another person, let me have a conversation with you and offer it to you, Leo. I don't know why you're quite square, squared. You're quite... There's a part of you that you're scared. There's a part of... I don't think you're hesitating. It's more of you're scared. You're scared of what they will tell you, what you will discover. You're scared of falling in love for some of you guys. Yeah, the sun card. You're scared to realize that you're still in love with this person or offer. Leo. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. Look, the only way to find out is to connect with them. Because if you don't, you will overthink, overthink, and overthink. And eventually, I see you picking up the phone and calling them and, Hey, all right, I made up my mind. Because this is a double card. I made up my mind. Let's talk. It also feels like business for some of you. It looks like there was a missed opportunity and then they're returning it to you. Now it's like it's a now it's now a sure, solid, serious offer. I think in the past there was a missing structure. I think if this is business, there was a missing structure. There was a missing paperwork or something is missing. They weren't able to fully present it to you and offer it to you. Now everything is complete. It's already a hierophant card. You know, it's giving me a vibe. All you have to do is to see me, to say yes, or to sign it, and we'll start all over again. You have hesitation with the devil card. So maybe there was a bit of delay in the past or pushback, but it's amendable. With the king of pentacles in here, they're committed to explain. They're committed. They have explanation. I get the feeling that they have a solid explanation. They have something solid now. They have something solid now. And I'm kind of picking up a vibe that... It will be your lost if you don't accept it. Yeah, because it's a big golden Ace of Pentacles in here. Look at that. The Ace of Pentacles. Leo. Sorry. Leo, this could be what you're waiting for. It is one click away. And the seven. It's worth looking at. It's worth investing. And it's worth, you know, a second chance. Just try, Leo just try it looks lots of money there's lots of money in here it's a big position it could also be love you know it could also be love they will confess something about the structure of your connection or relationship because i'm kind of picking up structure i'm also picking up the word um something's going to change this is how i wanted to do things very open whoever this person is or situation or company they're very open um you're quite speechless because every time you ask something, they've already mentioned it to you. So, very interesting. And this is what I have for you, Leo. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting the channel, okay? Thank you so much, guys, for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Leo, you know what to do. Click the bell. Click subscribe. I will see you soon. You have a great day, Leo. Bye-bye.